Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about related rates in calculus in terms of two moving objects and we're going to be uh, using Mathematica to evaluate these. So it's going to have two functions. One is to learn how to solve these kinds of problems in calculus and the second function is going to be familiarizing yourself with the Mathematica user interface especially in solving these type of calculus application problems. So uh, we have a particular scenario here where we have a large ship moving east at 30 kilometers an hour and it's initially 200 kilometers in distance from a small ship and the small ship is moving south and it is moving at 15 kilometers an hour but it's initially directly due east of the large ship and it is uh, instantaneously moving south at 15 kilometers an hour and our question is uh, to find out how far apart will the two vessels be from each other at 6 a.m. or how far apart from each other will they be moving at 6 a.m. and the second part of this question is at what time will they be closest to each other so I set up a little triangle here because Instant, at the very very beginning, at t equals zero, when the ships are when when the small ship is directly east of the large ship, there's actually no triangle here, it's simply a line. But right from that moment and onward, the ship, as the ship moves south, a triangle and a special triangle, a right triangle, actually develops because we retain this right angle here, yet we have uh, this ship moving at a constant rate until we can um, basically we can just describe it as a right triangle so this makes our job a lot, a lot easier so as we know we have uh, distance c here and we can uh, calculate distance c here in terms of a and b which we do know so and when we have to calculate these in terms of time, so A, in terms of time, it's going to start at 200 kilometers, right? Because we were initially starting at 200 kilometers. But it's going to be a shrinking distance because this ship is moving in this direction. So in actuality, this distance is going to end up being 200 minus rate times time for this ship. So if the rate is 30 kilometers an hour and time is T, it's the distance A here, side A of this triangle, is going to be 200 minus 30 times T. So let's go ahead and put that in Mathematica here. So 30, 200 minus 30 times T here. And that's going to be side A of our triangle. Side B of our triangle, well, it's initially going to be zero, right? So we put this ship back up here. Uh, it's going to start at zero kilometers because technically if it's due east it, there's really no side B at all, it's a straight line. But as soon as the ship starts moving it has distance which is going to be equal to R times time. Remember if you recall your equation D equals RT rate times time we're going to have 15 kilometers times the time that the ship, that the small ship was moving. So we're going to put that into our equation as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up uh, how we can put up side C in Mathematica in terms of the Pythagorean theorem. So we have side A squared. Remember A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So the square root of C squared is going to be C. So if you take the square root of side C, you have to take the square root of side A squared plus B squared as well. So the square root of A squared plus B squared is going to be as I described before. Side A is going to be 200 minus 30 times time. And we're going to go ahead and square this value. And we're going to add that to b squared, and we said b squared was 15 times time. 15 kilometers an hour times how many hours the ship was moving. And again, we're going to use, this is a, the exponent function 
uh, in Mathematica. So this square root here is really the square root of c squared. And c squared, again, is a squared plus b squared. So this describes the distance between the two vessels, because this is the square root of c squared, which is just c, and this is the distance between the two vessels. And it is a function of time. So if we derive that with respect to time, so what I want to do is I want to go to the calculus menu here in the palette. I'm going to click on D. And we have our expression already in here. Uh, if you don't have that expression up there already, you would come up like this. You would have the expression field, and you have the variable field. So all you would do is you would take your expression and type it into there. And then the variables in your expression are going to be black until Mathematica knows they are the active variables. And if you put that into the var box for, for variable, you hit, uh, you'll see this olive green color come up, meaning that that is the active variable in the operation, as such as a derivative. And we see the D for derivative out here. So we're going to hit enter or shift plus enter if you're on a Mac. And we get this expression for the derivative. So what does this derivative tell us? Well, uh, it tells us the change in the distance or how quickly the two ships are approaching or moving away from each other as a function of time. So what we can do here is uh, we can, uh, let's see. We can plug in everywhere there was t. We can plug in a 4. And that is why we're we doing that, because we want to know how quickly the ships are moving apart or coming together at 6 a.m. And if time at 0 was 2 a.m., there's a difference of 4 hours. So I'm putting in 4 hours for all the t's. So if I hit shift enter, I get this minus 15 number to come out. So don't be alarmed, because that's not a distance, but that is a change in distance, an instantaneous change in distance at 6 a.m. And it is minus 15 kilometers, meaning the ships are, the, uh, the distance between the ships is shrinking at a rate of 15 kilometers an hour. Another way of saying that is that the ships are moving towards each other relatively at a rate of 15 kilometers an hour at 6 a.m. So that answers part A of our question. So, how far apart will they be moving from each other at 6 a.m. in kilometers per hour? And in this case, uh, they're not actually moving away from each other, but they're moving towards each other. So the second part of this question is, at what time will they be closest to each other? Well, Before I get onto that, I want to go ahead and grab the original function that is describing the distance between the two vessels with respect to time. Oops. So we're going to do that by going to our 2D menu here for graphing. I'm going to go to plot. And we have function that comes up here. So function is going to be our expression for the distance between the two vessels. Our variable again is t. And this is our domain min and domain max. We're going to do that between time equals 0 and 8 a.m. So we have a nice window. I'm going to hit shift enter. And I get this nice graph where the x-axis is time and we have the distance between two vessels on the y-axis. And it looks like it's going below 0 here, but it's actually not. Uh, I'm going to prove that to you by changing the range here. Uh, so we're going to go down to range. And we're going to the plot range. And this little menu comes up, this little option comes up to select your, domain, your uh, range here. So I'm going to do open curly brackets. Uh, Mathematica likes curly brackets for lists. Uh, this is going to be a two item list. We're going to say uh, we're going to graph between uh, 50 kilometers. Now let's do 70 kilometers uh, and uh, 100. I'm going to close curly brackets. And uh, as you can see here, we want to see what's going on in this 0 to 100 range or thereabouts because we're not quite sure what's going on here. So I'm going to hit shift enter. 
And as you can see, we have a nice parabola here. Again, it's describing the distance between the two vessels with respect to time. So as you can see, look at this. We have a minimum here. So this is the closest the ships ever get. Again, uh, we want to know uh, at um, we want to know at what time will they be closest to each other. And uh, this time here, this minimum, corresponds to the time that they're closest to each other. Because again, this graph is a distance versus time. So if the distance is at a minimum, sometime in this fifth clock, five o'clock hour, between five a.m. between the fifth and the sixth hour, the zeroth hour being two a.m. So how can we find this exactly? Well, if we graph uh, well, there's a couple ways of doing it, but one of the easiest ones is to simply take the derivative, which we found earlier. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift Enter again so I can get the original uh, derivative out instead of this one with the substituted fours in. So I have this expression here that's the derivative. And as we know from calculus first semester, if we set the uh, derivative equal to zero, we're going to get a local minimum or local maximum. Uh, in this case, there's only one minimum. It's a global minimum. And we want to know where the derivative is zero. So that will correspond to a horizontal line that is tangent right at the minimum of our distance function. So that will be a line that looks like this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to y equals x, which is our solver, we're going to go to solve. And what comes up here is we have a solve function, and then we have left, uh, left hand side, LHS, right hand side, RHS, and the variable we're uh, solving for. So let's do the left hand side equal to the derivative. We're going to set the derivative equal to zero. And we're going to solve for t here. And we're going to find out what time is this distance function between the two vessels the lowest. And time is 16 thirds. Uh, we can convert that to uh, a decimal number by saying n solve. And if we hit shift enter again, we're going to get a decimal. And it's 5.33, or 5 and 1 third hours. So 5.33 hours after 2 a.m. is 7.20 a.m. That is when the ships will be closest to each other. Uh, so now you know how to use Mathematica to quickly calculate the instantaneous change in distance between two vessels using related rates and also uh, using the calculus functions in Mathematica to calculate at what time two vessels will be closest to each other and using the uh, local minimum or local maximum of a related rate to find and maximize or minimize a distance or any other quantity. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.